everyone. Welcome again to communion, uh, Canvas and Communion Bible Study um, every Wednesday. So today, um, Bible study that I'm going to talk about is we're going to talk about desperation. Basically, when you're desperate in the good way. Um, so yeah, so um, pick up your Bibles and um, let's dig into it. I, I hope that you're having a great day. If not, then I hope that today is a better day for you. All right, so let's go into prayer and then we can just start digging in. All right. Lord, I just thank you for um, a lovely day that you've given us. Thank you for your amazing blessings and your um, love for us, God. Thank you for renewing our minds every day. Thank you for just an amazing, beautiful, sunny day, Father, um, of, of provision, of resources that you have given us. Thank you for waking us up, giving us fresh air, God, fresh um, breath, God, a, a new clean slate to just walk in authority that you have given us walk in our purpose walk in our our calling walk in just being alive walk in a joyful atmosphere walk in a peaceful atmosphere just be in the moment and just celebrate the the, the day that you've given us god i thank you for allowing us to be together today to um do bible study and i pray that lord you allow us to just be in tune with what you have to give us um and whatever it is that we are in need of god i pray that lord you just allow us to lay it at your feet where it belongs god and you being an all-knowing all caring all loving or um everlasting god will, will bless us in time will give us reassurement you will give us clarity and whatever it is that we are in need of we are in need of your hand to redeem to restore to revive and to just re renew god whatever it is lord we lay it at the altar and we just we just rest we, we, we take a, a a nap because we know that lord when we leave it to you lord that it is already taken care of and you will say peace be still to the storm god Jesus slept in the storm. So God, we are going to rest and sleep in the storm because we know that when we head it to you, you are our redeemer and you will take care of it. So we thank you and we place this Bible study in your hand. Let us be in tune with what you have to say. Let us be doers of your word and not hearers only. So we thank you, Lord, and we bless your holy name. Amen. All right. So um, Bible study today is about um, desperation. Basically, being desperate the good way. Um, desperation is normally seen as something bad like when you're desperate like oh she's desperate or he's desperate but there's a, a biblical way to be desperate a biblical way to be desperate in a positive way in a good way so that's what God has been talking to me about being desperate like he 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 he, he, he inhabits in in desperation and how do we how do we know that so desperation basically, basically means that you are just so in tune like you are so um you just you just know you you are moving in that direction like i'm so desperate to get this this healing i'm so desperate to get this job i'm so desperate like you are working it in all your ways you are putting the foot forward you are doing everything you're supposed to do you are just moving toward it and you know god is saying that there is positive desperation negative desperation is basically like you exhausting your energy and there's nothing coming back to you like you're just exhausting your energy in that place or in that position or in that in that in that um direction and there is no feedback you know god blesses what he assigns you know th there's a saying that you know god is the one who um he qualifies the the called and you know because he, he he appoints the unqualified and he qualifies the called so if you are called to something and you feel like you're not you don't have the the you, you are not you, you feel like you cannot own what god is calling you to do because his calling is so above what you can ever think about know that he has already um anointed you for it so when when the hand of god is on something it flourishes when it's not and you are moving in desperation you are trying using your power using your might using everything to make it work it don't go well because the hand of God is not in it so God is saying there's desperation that is positive and it's okay for his children to be desperate positively because when you are desperate for God there is his hand is on it and what God is showing me is that like when you look at the the woman with the issue of blood right she was 
she, she had the issue of life for 12 years for a very long time right she has it for 12 years and she maybe the first year she was not desperate she was probably like oh you know i'm having i'm bleeding it's all good just one year two years she's like mm, it's gonna stop you know and that's how some of us are right i myself included you know there's certain things that i i need to be desperate about but it has to take a certain amount of long distance or long you know dwelling of that thing for me to be like okay I need to be desperate I need to really like work at this and, and actually try and find healing so or try and find a breakthrough or try and find the hand of God on this right for 12 years the lady was basically you know sitting in the pool of blood for 12 years and she heard that you know Jesus was coming and she was like you know what today on today i'm gonna get my victory on today i'm gonna get my healing on today it is going to happen okay i am gonna meet this man and i'm gonna get what i need from him and that is positive desperation because what it, she did is that she aligned herself so that when jesus was passing by she was able to get her healing and how did she get her healing how she got her, her healing was she she touched the hem of his garment she, she was probably like you know what I don't care if, if his shadow passes on me. I don't care if I have to touch his feet. I'm going to get my healing today. And so she was desperate for it. There were so many people in that place, right? And Jesus was like, because when she immediately, immediately when she touched the hem of um, Jesus' garment, what happened is that power left him into her. And, and she was immediately healed because she was desperate for it. And And what God is saying is that, you know, there was a lot of people over there. There's a lot of people in the crowd. But Jesus was like, who touched me? And one of the, one of the disciples was like, well, there's a lot of people here. Of, you know, of course somebody's going to touch you. And I know that, you know, what God is telling me is that he knows that um, Jesus knew who touched him. But he wanted to say, who touched me? Because he wanted to show the people around that, hey, everybody's around me, but nobody's desperate enough to know that, hey, if you touch me, you're going to get what, what you need. And he wanted to use a woman as an example like, hey, she touched me and she was able to get her healing. So God is saying sometimes we come to him and we are just like, you know, at his throne. And we're just, you know, hanging out and be like, oh, Jesus, you know, oh, Jesus. We're not desperate. Desperation has a sound. Desperation has a sound because when you're desperate, you pray different. When you're desperate, you worship different. Okay, when you're desperate, you are like, you know what? I'm going to pray. Like, you pray differently. And you know that. When you're desperate, you cry out to God differently. You know, the people the people who, you know, when, when um, Joshua was um, walking the people, Israelites, around the, you know, the wall of Jericho, they were walking around the wall and, you know, worshiping, praying, you know, just worshiping, worshiping, crying out around the wall so many times. The last couple times, if you, if you read in, in the word, the last couple times was when they started to scream, like really, like really shout. That shout brought the wall down. That shout brought the wall down because that, that they had to like keep walking around until they got really desperate. And, and they were like, you know what, this wall needs to come down. And they started to shout out of desperation, like, Lord. We are calling your name. We are shouting for this wall to come down. You told Joshua that you're going to be, Joshua 1, 9, you're going to be with him. Father, you are leading us. We are desperate. We've been going around this wall. And they got to desperation. Sometimes you have to keep, that's what the Bible says, you have to continuously keep praying. Continuously, you have to continue. Pray is a continuous thing. Because the more you pray, the more desperate you start to be. Like, Lord, I am praying, you know, and God is, God is seeing your desperation. So whoever you are, I just wanna, I just wanna um, encourage you to let you know that God sees your desperation, and there's a reward in your desperation. There's a reward in your desperation. Why? Because God steps in desperation. He sees the heart. When you are desperate, like when you are, you know, just worshiping Lord, you know, just worshiping, you know, your heart posture is not like really set in a way for you to receive. But when you're desperate, your heart posture is like you have this belief, you have this faith, 
Like, I know it's going to happen. I know I'm going to get this job. I know I'm going to get this house. I know my credit my credit score is going to be perfect. I know you have this desperation. And, and your desperation has, has faith that is, like, beyond a faith that normal people will have because you are at a point of desperation. So the Father, God is saying, you know, that he sees the, the desperate, his, his children that are desperate, you know. And, and the thing is, you can be desperate for things, but are you desperate for God? You know, are you desperate for God every day? Do you set up a time out of your day? Five minutes, ten minutes, it doesn't got to be hours, you know. But when you are, when you set up a time, do you, do you, do you really in tune your, your heart to God? You know, because when you're desperate for God, you will set up a time to, to, to meet him at his throne. You know, you will, you will set up a time to, to, to go before him, you know. So the, the, the Lord is saying, are you desperate in a positive way? Are you desperate for his presence? Are you desperate for his love? Are you desperate for to know him? Are you desperate to hear what he has to say concerning this or concerning that, concerning your life? Are you desperate? You know, a positive desperate, you know, positive desperate. Like Peter, for example, Peter walked on water. Peter had to be like, okay, you know, all the, all the disciples were, you know, in, in, in the boat. And they were all looking at Peter like, okay, what does Peter know that we don't know? You know? Everybody was, you know, just scared out of their mind in the in the in the in the boat. 